Welcome back students to another day of music making. I am so glad to be back with you today. So first of all, what we are going to do is we are gonna do a little vocal warm up following our kite. Today it is all you, you get zero help from me. I will follow along with you. You make sure that you follow along on an ooh warming up vocal sound. So I'll get us to that follow that kite and the rest is all you, best of luck. Awesome job. So let's head on over to our e-learning guide so that we're able to follow along together of what our battle plan for today is. So we just did our kite vocal exploration, warming up our voices. Today, I need you to help me out with a poem. So would you please listen to it one time for me? Bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, scrape your toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. Get that bubble gum off your feet. Listen to my poem, I'm gonna say it again. Bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, scrape your toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. Get that bubble gum off your feet. Would you say it with me please? Here we go right now. Bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, scrape your toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. Get that bubble gum off your feet. So now, would you keep a steady beat somewhere on your body? Ready, set, and here we say. Bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, scrape your toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. Get that bubble gum off your feet. Because now what I'm gonna ask your help with is today you get to do a little bit of a creating process with some body percussion. And there it goes, I was like, why is it not clicking over? So here's what you're going to be able to do. You're gonna have a music sheet that looks like mine. What you could do is you are able to just create this really quickly on your own. Um, if you need to, if you want to just make and create and do whatever you would like, you're more than welcome to do whatever works best for you in your situation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with a pattern because we were keeping that steady beat pattern for a bubblegum song. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to make a little created pattern. So I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put another one here. Keep one there. I'm gonna put one there because I have four heartbeats that I'm gonna use as my steady beat idea. So here's my four heartbeats and I'm trying to cover all of those for today's activity. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is, excuse me, is that you are going to create a rhythm or excuse me, an ostinato pattern and you're just gonna keep this little pattern going as we say the poem together. So I have a stamp reminder, that means it comes from my knee, not from my hip. I have cat and I have clap as my three levels today. I will be adding a level four later on as we go through our units, okay? So for our three levels today, here's what I'm gonna ask you to do. You have to come up with a pattern, but for right now, let's look at my pattern. I have stamp, pat, stamp, pat, and I'm just keeping that pattern. And so what I'll do is we'll keep that pattern, but we'll go back to our bubblegum song. So let's do the ostinato. Ready? Ostinato starts with stamp, stamp, pat, stamp, pat. Say the poem, here we go. Bubblegum, bubblegum, chew and blow. Bubblegum, bubblegum, scrape your toe. 
Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. Get that bubble gum off your feet. Okay, so that is option one. I did two levels and they worked out well. Maybe I wanna make it a little bit more complicated. Maybe, I'm gonna put this one up here. I'm gonna have this little pattern that goes up and down. So I'm gonna do a stamp pat. Do that pattern with me. Stamp, pat, clap. Two, here we go. Bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, scrape your toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. Get that bubble gum off your feet. How'd you do? Hopefully you did okay because now what you get to do is you get to come up with your own creation. So I'm gonna ask you in a moment to pause the video. You make your own little creation and it can be as simple as you want. For instance, could I do this? Does that work? Bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Yeah, it totally works. Now, I'm gonna say as fourth and fifth grade students, you should be able to do a little bit more of at least two levels. Maybe you don't, you don't wanna do the stamp part, but maybe you wanna do this part. Maybe you wanna do pats and claps. And that works just fine. You come up with a pattern that makes sense for you. Maybe you wanna make it more complicated. Maybe you wanna have them jump around on some different levels for your four beat ostinato. So pause this video for a moment, and then when you come back, we're gonna say the poem twice together. Did you come up with an idea? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna keep my drum beat, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna say, or you're gonna play your pattern, I'm gonna just say it. You be the charge of your playing pattern. I'm in charge of saying it. Ready? Two, and here you go. Bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, scrape your toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. Get that bubble gum off your feet. How'd you do? Did you do okay? Awesome, so let's try it one more time. And again, if you don't think that you can say and play both at the same times, take one away and just focus on the play part, okay? Don't worry about the same. If you can do both, awesome. Depending on how hard or how complex you made your four beat arrangement, maybe you can and maybe you can't and that's okay. Ready? Here we go. So now I'm gonna say it one more time. You're gonna play it. If you wanna say it along with me, you're more than welcome to. Ready? One, and here you go. Bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, scrape your toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, tastes so sweet. Get that bubble gum off your feet. Pause right there. Good for you. So now let's go back to our e-learning guide. And today what you're gonna be looking at is a new song called See the Rabbit Running. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch my screens over to that song. And would you please listen to it once as I play it? I'll play it one more time. time would you listen to me sing it once by myself see the rabbits running from the fox who's cunning fox is getting thinner chasing down his dinner listen one last time see the rabbit running from the fox who's cunning 
fox is getting thinner, chasing down his dinner. So now my question is this. With my song, See the Rabbit Running, can you please keep the beat somewhere on your body? Here we go right now. See the rabbit running from the fox who's cunning. Fox is getting thinner, chasing down his dinner. Good. Now this time I'm going to ask you to sing and keep the beat with me. If you don't have all the words, that's totally fine. So here we go. See the rabbit running from the fox who's cunning. Fox is getting thinner, chasing down his dinner. What happened to my rabbit? My rabbit disappeared. Well, we'll try that again, see if he comes back. Ready, here we play. See the rabbit running from the fox who's cunning. Fox is getting thinner, chasing down his dinner. Where did my rabbit go, do you think? My rabbit disappeared. Hmm. We'll try one more time, see if we can find out where our rabbit went. See if we can find where our rabbit went. Ready, here we sing. See the rabbit running from the fox who's cunning. Fox is getting thinner, chasing down his dinner. Where do you think he went? You think he went down in the hole? Well, let's see. There he is. Oh, there's where our rabbits went. Oh, okay. I thought they were disappeared and missing forever. Awesome. So I wonder why the rabbits are in the hole when the other rabbits are above the holes. That's very suspicious. Hmm. Press save on that and we'll come back to this another day. Okay. So let's go back to our e-learning guide. And this time I'm gonna to go to a little simple song that I'm gonna teach you today. And I'm not gonna show you any icons, I'm just gonna sing it for you a few times because there's a little activity that we're gonna be doing later on with this. So I'm gonna get out of my share screen and come back to just me. And would you listen to my Chairs to Men song? Chairs to mend, no oh, chairs to mend. Mackerel, fresh mackerel, any old rags, any old rags. Chairs to mend, no oh, chairs to mend. Mackerel, fresh mackerel, any old rags, any old rags. What is my song about? Listen one more time. Chairs to mend, oh, chairs to mend. Mackerel, fresh mackerel. Any old rags, any old rags. What's my song about? What do you think? Well, let's talk about chairs to mend, correct? What does that mean? What does it mean to mend something? Does it mean to fix something? Usually something has to be broken. We fix it, we mend it, we put it back together. Okay, what else? Mackerel, fresh mackerel. What is mackerel? You might even know it as the word mackerel. Holy mackerel. What does that term mean? It's a kind of fish. So it's a fish that we can sell at a market. Oh, so maybe we're in a little market area, okay. And then any old rags. Hmm, I wonder. Well, imagine that we're in a little street area and we have some people that are selling some different things, okay. So I'm gonna sing for this song one more time. We're gonna press pause on that, okay. So here I go. Chairs to mend, oh, chairs to mend. 
Mackerel, fresh mackerel, any old rags, any old rags. Chairs to mend, all oh, chairs to mend. Mackerel, fresh mackerel, any old rags, any old rags. If you're being a really astute fourth or fifth grade listener, you might notice that I'm doing something different both times that I do the any old rags. Listen. Chairs to mend, oh, chairs to mend. Mackerel, fresh mackerel, any old rags, any old rags. Chairs to mend, oh, chairs to mend. Mackerel, fresh mackerel, any old rags, any old rags. What's the difference between the two examples? I'm doing it on purpose, by the way. What do you think? The first one's higher. Any old rags, any old rags. What about number two? Any old rags, starts low, then goes high. So one starts high and then goes low. The other one starts low and then it goes high. What if I was to tell you that it's the exact same note? One's high, one's low. What if I said that they were so? So, so, do, do, so, so, do, do. So, so, do, do, so, so, do, do. Sneaky. Press pause on that. So we have one more thing. Let's go back to our e-learning guide. And our very last thing to look at today is that we're going to do just a little simple sing-along activity. I thought, what a great idea just to kind of pull back some songs that we know, we recognize that we would just like to sing, um, to have back in our ears again. So today, instead of just doing the sing-along portion, I thought, you know, what would be a great idea if I just went and played along with you today? So, ready, here we sing. Chicken on a fence post can't dance, Josie. Chicken on a fence post can't dance, Josie. Chicken on a fence post can't dance, Josie. Hello, Susan Brownio. Would you sing with me again? Ready, here we go. Chicken on a fence post can't dance, Josie. Chicken on a fence post can't dance, Josie. Chicken on a fence post can't dance, Josie. Hello, Susan Brownio. One more time before we go. Chicken on a fence post can't dance, Josie. Chicken on a fence post can't dance, Josie. Chicken on a fence post can't dance, Josie. Hello, Susan Brownio. And with that said, fifth grade and fourth grade students, I hope you are all doing well, staying healthy, staying safe. I miss you all very terribly, um, and I hope that we get to see each other very, very soon. Take care. Make sure that you're not annoying your parents as much as you possibly can as we're all trying to get through this situation together. I miss you guys like crazy, and until next time, I'll see you later, and take care.